So here's a new um, way of stitching a uh, headband I want to suggest. It's the stitch that's known by all middle schoolers circa 1998-2003 as the uh, hemp necklace stitch where you have a center core, which I'm holding and holding my teeth, and you knot around and it produces this very nice um, bead on top effect and it's very easy and effective. So the knot goes like this, you put the keep the core tense in your mouth and then you flip one of the threads over and the other one you go around the drape over and up through the hole that's been created and then if you pull it tight you could pull it um, horizontally or vertically uh, horizontally put the bead in the middle of the core vertically puts the bead on top of the core. And if you just keep alternating right to left, it keeps a single color. And it's very intuitive for the tie downs. You just tie it tight like, like that. I find it quite a bit less fiddly than a traditional uh, single core headband knot and it's pleasing how tightly you can pull it. And I think it has a kind of unique effect. So there it is. Now I'm gonna do a, gonna do a tack down just to show you. So with the down band, I'm just gonna find the signature that should go in. I never quite understood why so many folks put so many tabs inside their book when beneath the kettle, there we go, when it's pretty easy to find the middle of the signature. So there we go, I'm gonna tack that down, like so, careful with my core. And I'm ready to do some more loops. In this case, I'm using the yellow one to go over and make the loop every time. And the red one comes in the hole and through. So let me do this. There we have it. Do one more. For good measure. There we have it. So here is the finished product using this method. I think it turns out quite delicately, that little golden bead on top. It's got this nice kind of reverse color on the back, which of course won't be very visible because of the end cap, but um, there it is, the hemp necklace knotted end band pioneered by Ben Jeffries. <laughs>